Welcome to Demon's Souls, the game that started a franchise. This is a game that I used to know backwards and forwards. And I haven't touched this game since May 26th of 2012. So I used to know it very well. But after Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2, I'm sure I'm going to have to relearn the mechanics. Ooh, you know what? I haven't tested any of this for, for recording. Magic? Barbarian's good for strength. See, I shouldn't have started messing with this. Okay, how do I accept it?
King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. And Sage Freik the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Tell me my item burden or equipment burden. I don't see it. Okay, equipment burden, item burden. My equipment burden is too high. Let's see, I don't need all this stuff equipped either. Mail breaker, long sword. I guess I'll keep the. Okay.
locked on out of habit on that guy. I felt like I was floating down. of Dark Souls or Dark Souls 2 but don't have a PS3 they're cheap enough now you should pick one up and play Demon's Souls the essence of the game is it's it's tough but fair that if you die, it's not a trick, trick, cheap trick of the game or the programmers. It's you deserve. You know you deserve to die. You know you made a mistake.
I'm not. Oh, this guy's fast. me to go two-handed against this guy? I don't think so. Hard to get around behind you. Too. Okay, can't do a guard break like I do in close two. bars. The top left corner. The top one is health. Blue one is mana or magic. The green one is stamina and endurance. So as you notice during the tutorial you cannot die before you uh, meet the boss. So don't waste your grass. Here. <laughs> I've never beaten this guy. But it is possible.
from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect it. You slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed boletaria? Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. of luck to you. Hmm. You new here? Do you hear from my services? My name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living, and with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? So I need three shards of heartstone. other game. Well, enough of that, right? Do come back alive. I need your business. Him's just a big softy. Oh, 
my. How has this happened? Has God abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to King Alant? Oh, Mbasa. <laughs> Sorry. Nobody else is here yet. Thank you. 